Shalom, family. This is Ark Ben. Oh, she Ben Yahoo to Yisrael, yo, Ark. I got another um video for y'all. This is going to be the review on John Haynes, The Man With Nothing To Lose by Arthur Sean James. As you see, this is the book right here. John Haynes, The Man With Nothing To Lose. This is part of Sean James' 2020 catalog. Now, this book comes in two covers with different art styles. Yeah, the original front cover, Art A, is done by Mike Williams. And the front cover, the second front cover B, is done by Josh Howard. Mike Williams and Josh Howard are both talented artists. I like both of these brothers' artwork that they do on Brother Sean James' art. I mean, books. But fam, I must say, if you want to buy Sean James, if you want to get into John, Sean James' books... I advise you to get John Haynes, the man with nothing to lose. I got to say, shout out to Mr. James. Shout out to Sean James. I enjoyed reading this book. I read it last night. You can read this book in one sitting. It's not that long. Look. You know, it got about a decent amount of chapters, but it's not long. You could finish this book in a couple of hours. You know, but I like the storyline. You know, basically it's one of John Haynes' old childhood nemesis. All bullies that he dealt with back in junior high. Uh, name Marcus Jeffries. Marcus Jeffries was a is a man with none to lose, and he seeks to get revenge on John Haynes. And Lucifer makes a he makes a deal with Lucifer, and Lucifer gives him some powers to deal with John Haynes. I'm not gonna spoil the powers because I want you to read for yourself. Read the book, you know. And he gives he gives um, Marcus Jeffries the um, powers. And he confronts John Haynes. You know. And I like the John Haynes characters because he's a strong, masculine black man. He stands on his moral principles. As you see the cover, this is John Haynes, like he's fighting against um Marcus Jeffers. And that's a steam. That's a steam in the background. John Haynes' girlfriend. All lover. That's his um the woman he's dealing with. You know. And I like how Sean James write their relationship, you know. Now, Esteem, when, when she was first introduced in the Sean James or the SJS Direct Universe, Esteem was originally, you know, from an ancient empire, you know, a fictional ancient empire, and she became a demon. And she and throughout the course of the um, storyline, she becomes a reformed demon. She becomes a goddess, you know, to the um, new... Hillian Politan um, society, you know, you got to, um, but um, in other words, and she becomes John Haynes' lover and understands him. You know, she stands up for him, protect him. You know, I like how Sean James represents, you know, a righteous relationship between a black man and black woman. And John Haynes is a strong um, black man lead in the books. And you see, that's why I say y'all need to support this. I encourage y'all, I encourage y'all to get pick this up. John Haynes, the man with nothing to lose. This should be made into a comic book. That's how much I enjoyed this book. You see, if a lot of people were supporting Brother James, they could have made this into a graphic novel or even a little animated movie. Or heck, even a movie. There ain't no way they should have a they should have a John Haynes movie out by now, man. But unfortunately, our people, man, we stuck on stupid because we want to attract, we're attracted to the shiny stuff. And we believe this lie that the white man's ice is colder. We got to get out that mindset, family. You got a lot of brothers and sisters producing good stories, good comics, good mangas. And they're not getting the support they deserve because we're too caught up in the BS of mainstream. You know, we want to support. We complain that there's not enough black characters and not enough black leads. But soon as a brother and sister goes independent, we don't support them because of self-hatred. I'm telling you, I enjoyed this book from cover to cover. I advise y'all to pick up this book. I give it, like, if I have to get it, you know, I give it five stars. If it's four, like, if I had to get it out of five stars, it's get a five stars from me. Five stars, automatic, hands down. Five stars. Because I enjoyed the action in the book. I enjoyed the fight scenes. You know, I enjoyed the whole storyline. 
And the moral of the story is, you see, because, you know, we look at John's hands. We look at him. We don't look at him as a traditional superhero, but he gets his power from the most high God. That's where he gets his power from. And with God, nothing is impossible. And he proves this in his book. He proves it when he takes on the block, a.k.a. Marcus Jeffers, the block. So I advise y'all to pick this up, fam. If For those who have children, I advise y'all to pick this up for y'all children and read it to y'all children because it shows positive images of black men and black women. And we need literature like this. We need literature like this. But uh, let me see something right quick. I'm going to just show y'all both. Uh, this is both like the both art covers as you see cover um b is john hands and his girlfriend of steam you know she's like she's using a um, energy blast that's a power she could fly you know shoot energy blasts got new superhuman abilities look and it's the original cover but uh i'm eventually gonna get cover b for collection state because i like both brothers artwork like i said cover um a is done by Hold up a second. Cover A is done by Mike Williams, and cover B is done by Josh Howard. Both of these brothers, man, they got, I like their art styles. You know, I like their art styles. You know, you see, if Sean Chance was getting the, the, the support like DC and Marvel, we could have had a comic book or uh, movie done about this, or animated movie. But sadly, you know, our people, like I said, we destroy for the lack of knowledge. We, we don't want to see ourselves in an empowered image. Because the more we continue to let Hollywood, Disney, Marvel, and DC write our narratives, they're going to put us in second fiddle, third fiddle, fourth fiddle. They're not going to put us on the front line. You know? They're not. That's why it's important to write our own narrative. Even Brother Sean James speak about writing your own narrative. But yeah, family, this is my review on John Hands, The Man With Nothing To Lose. I advise y'all to pick it up. It's on Amazon for $8.99. You can't beat that. Come on now. $8.99. What that is. That's a value meal, man. All the people what um, restaurant you go to. That's a meal right there. You can't tell me you can't spend $8.99 on a book like this. And look, you can read it in one day. It's not even a now. You know, look. You can finish this in a couple of hours. Probably an hour. It depends how fast you read. Look. Come on now. Ain't no way he should be. He should be making sales. And what ticks me off, I tried to do a review on Amazon, but they blocked me from doing an interview due to some technical issues with their red tape. You know, so screw you, Amazon. I'm going to try to um, pick my review because I'm definitely going to give it five stars on Amazon. They ain't nothing but the damn enemy, man, because I would have gave them five stars on Amazon because I enjoyed this book. But I'm going to um, try it again, though, later on to get my review on Amazon. You know, it's always the enemy, man, but it's all good, though. You know, like I said, I will continue to purchase... Some of um, Sean James' books, Most High Willing. And I pray that the Most High give him the strength and motivation and wisdom to continue writing books, man. And to expand the SJS, uh, the SJS Direct Universe. You know? So, Brother Sean James, if, if you come across this video, keep doing a good job, brother. Don't let nobody discourage you. Don't let the haters discourage you, brother. Keep using the um, talent that the Most High bless you with and to write these great stories. You know, and I pray to the Most High that all your hard work comes with good fruits into fruition. You know, because, man, this brother wrote over 60 books, man. He should be on, he should be on a high level of, um, like, these so-called authors. But we all know that the publishing industry is run by some white racist female SJWs. And you see, they hate, they would hate a character like John Haynes. They would hate a character like John Hanks because he represents a strong black man or really an Israelite man, you know, but they'll hate us. They'll hate stories like this. Even though this is fiction and fantasy, you know, because John Hanks is steam and ice as you know, he's superheroes with supernatural abilities, but they would still hate stories like this because Sean James not representing the narrow, the, the stereotypes, like the thug, the mouth, the, the loud mouth black woman. He representing our people in a positive light in leadership positions. And like I say, I enjoy how Sean James write the relationship between John Hans and Esteem. You know, you read about Esteem, what you you want to be attracted to a woman like that with her attitude, because you know she got your back, she has your best interest. You know, but uh 
This is my review, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I'm about to cut this video short. And like I said, man, y'all pick this book up, man. For those who like reading or want to read something different, I advise y'all to pick up the John Hand series. I also pick up the Steam series and the Isis series, you know. I'm definitely going to get the um the Isis series when they take on Dracula, the Vampire Orc series. I might get that whole series next, you know. But um, so far, I read the John Hand series. I'm enjoying the John Hand series. Yeah, man, y'all pick these book up, man. Y'all support this brother, man. Like I say, $8.99. You can't beat that, man. $8.99. If you could go buy all these other BS urban novels they sell at Walmart for higher prices, like for $18 or $19, you should be able to support something like this. And that's another thing. We got to stop supporting authors that write about the urban stuff, man. You know, the... the Stereotypical hood stories and all that. No, we got to think outside the box. That's not who we are. Our people come in different um, thought process. But uh, starting to get off topic, man. To get off topic, man. You know, I'm long winded. Trade of a Israelite, man. We long winded people. All praise to the most high. Hallelujah. But anyway, man, y'all support this brother, man. I advise y'all to pick up John Hands, the man with nothing to lose. I enjoy reading this from cover to cover. Like I see, I give it five out of five stars. So, Mr. James, if you come across this video, this is Brother Moshe Ben Yahuda Yisrael. I frequently um, comment on your videos. Keep doing what you're doing, brother. And I'm looking forward to seeing some more John Hands books in the future. If it's the will of the Most High, brother. Shalom and blessings to you, Brother Sean James. And shalom and blessings to anyone who watched this video. And I pray that y'all take heed and y'all support the brother. You know, if y'all... You know, if y'all get the chance, like I said, you can find his books on Amazon. You know, he has a um, cat, his whole catalog is on Amazon. But anyway, I'm gonna cut this video short. Y'all, shalom and blessings, and y'all have a blessed day.